60 minute time limit. It is for the U.S. Tag Team Championship. Introducing first, the challengers. They are the team of Hot Chocolate, Corey Williams, the player, Jason Thursday. They are the Hot Boys. And their opponents tonight, they are the current and defending U.S. Go 
Scott Chaplin working over that shoulder, that already injured shoulder of Andy Douglas. And I must say that Douglas does deserve a lot of respect coming out of that incident. That same ordeal as Divine coming right back into fighting here at USA, also at TNA. Douglas still trying to go for the hair, not gonna find any on Corey Williams either. Both these men, bald as a cue ball. You may respect Andy Douglas, but he keeps reaching for the hair. That's not exactly a move I respect. Douglas right into that arm drag, knocking it right back into his shoulder, trying to whip it out of socket on Andy Douglas. Right, the special K is no joke himself, man. Right? He's a part of the tag team world. He's been part of a lot of tag teams that have come through Nashville. He definitely, he definitely knows his way around the ring. He definitely knows tag team psychology. He definitely knows to keep his points on his side of the ring, cut that ring in half. Absolutely. He's done a spectacular job of cutting that ring in half thus far, keeping that shoulder locked in, too. And now that might be a bad idea right there. She Chase Stevens was arguing with referee Ricky Bell on there. Absolutely. Chase Stevens will abuse the ref, he'll abuse the opponent, he'll abuse the audience. It doesn't matter to him. He doesn't want to be like, he's not in there to win friends, he's not in there to win matches. Well, the only bad part about it, distracting the referee as Chase was doing, was it, it allowed Jason Brisbane to come in, start working that shoulder with Andy Douglas. However, it looks like Andy trying to take a little advantage himself there, not able to take full advantage as Brisbane goes right back to work on the shoulder. Douglas complaining of a hair play. Once again, if you didn't see it, you can't call it. Referee can't make the decision there. Speaking of hair plays, Douglas still going for that non-existent hair. I put there to Jason Brisbane. Drop toe hold there, didn't last for long. Now Brisbane going right to work. He's got a triangle style sleeper hold choke out there on, Andy, on Chase Stevens, excuse me. Changeable. Their styles are so similar, I keep getting confused. Backfall attempt here. Jason Brisbane able to kick out a two. However, Chase Stevens not resting on his laurels, going right back to work. Rolls him up into another situation. Only a two count again. Brisbane able to kick out. Shortcuts, as you can see right there, as Chase Stevens had his feet up on the ropes for a little added leverage on that pinfall attack. You know what? As a matter of fact, I think Chase Stevens thrives on the fact that he angers his people. I think he actually thrives on the fact that these people do not like him out there. He feeds off of their hatred. Seems to be as he's been able to show a lot of power feeding from that hatred, feeling from those remarks that the fans keep throwing his way. Jason Brisbane trying to come back here as you see a couple shots from the midsection, backing Chase Stevens into the corner, trying to whip him across. Stevens able to reverse. Shot downstairs, Brisbane trying to go up and over. Stevens able to have the presence of mind to hold off on the attack there. Corey Williams trying to come to the assist of his tag team partner. This could spell trouble though. Double team maneuver, splitting the wishbone there are the naturals. Not only is Corey Williams the tag team partner of the thriller Jason Brisbane, he was actually a trainer of Jason Brisbane, so the style is very similar, although Brisbane employing a lot of the world, a high flying tactics at this point in his career. But I'll tell you what, after something like that, there's gonna be no high flying around this room. It's a good way to put an end to that. Now the Chase Stevens got the cover here. Probably a smart move there for Corey Williams to keep the ref distracted while Brisbane tried to gain his breath, try to get that adrenaline flowing. I don't care if Brett was distracted or not. Chase Stevens not exactly the legal man, and there was no tag made in there. Andy Douglas technically should still be the legal man here. Modified Franken, excuse me, uh, Steiner Recliner there, type submission hold from Stevens on Brisbane. 
You can see the grimace on his face right there. Brisbane in a lot of pain from that hold. Twisting the neck around as well, adding insult to injury is Chase Stevens. Well, that's what I'm saying about Chase. He is content to just wear his hands down, no matter how long it takes. If he has to sit out there for a full one hour time limit, that's what Chase Stevens can do. That's what he will do. This is not a move that's going to finish the man off. He's probably not going to submit this one in the match, but it's going to wear him down. And just need to. You can see him right there working on the bridge of those. That's what I'm saying. Chase is just going to let his kids move like this and just wears down. Chase like Stevens definitely known for his brutality inside and outside of the ring. He's not one to sit back and let anyone just walk lightly over him. No one should ever take Chase Stevens or any of this for that matter very lightly. I don't think the hot boys are. Double team maneuvers here from the Naturals. That's face meeting knee right there. Nothing but bone. Douglas bulldogging him down to Stevens' knee. Brisbane now seeing the stars. Highly effective double team maneuver there from the Naturals. Douglas just measuring the guy in a big kick to the Oh, you can see Corey Williams, he was trying to reach for the tag there. Douglas taunting Williams there, saying he was so close yet so far to making that tag. Douglas going right back to work on the neck and spine region there of Jason Brisbane. Submission hold keep getting applied. Brisbane's got to be feeling it. Modified abdominal stretch there on the mat. Brisbane looks to be in a lot of pain. He's been the recipient of a huge amount of punishment. Corey Williams barely getting into this match at all, safe for the beginning. This is what I'm saying. Look at these guys are out there. He's got a little balance stretch there. He's got a little bit of that. He might break his back. He's getting right in the eyes of Jason Brisbane. Brisbane might be down, but you can see right here he's definitely not out. Shots into the midsection. Irish rope. Beautiful count by Douglas. Beautiful count. Went to the hip toss right back to that abdominal stretch. Douglas on Jason Brisbane. You can see the grimace of pain. He's been the recipient of a lot of punishment. Douglas taking Brisbane to school here tonight on USA Championship Wrestling. And even in that hole right there, continuing to work on the neck, which, which his partner did during that stand and kind of early on. Continuing to work on the stomach, the abdominal region, and continue to go after the eyes of Jason Brisbane. Relentless. Double team maneuver there from the Naturals as Chase Stevens plants that big boot right to the rib cage. The already injured rib cage of Jason Brisbane. Brisbane desperately needing to make a tag into Corey Williams here. If he can make the tag into Corey Williams, this match might be over. Williams has been patient on the side thus far, but he's definitely got the fresh legs when it comes to this tag team match. Now Brisbane on the offensive, finally getting a couple shots into Stevens. Stevens putting a quick stop to that, however. He gets a couple of shots in on his own. Now Brisbane sent face first into the mat there. You can see him in a very poor position. He's got nothing but danger here. Up the side there and may have knocked him out. Referee caught him at the field of the earth, but it may have knocked him out because his body went in there. He should have been Jason Brisbane. Devastating bucket right there. Brisbane dazed out of it. I'm not even sure if he realizes where he is. He's on the opposite side of the ring from his tag team partner. Still trying to make the tag. However, sets himself up for another abdominal stretch here from Chase Stevens. Stevens getting that elbow in too, working the neck as well. Gotta say, Brisbane does seem to be aware of where he's in the ring and which corner to try and make the go. So I'm trying to get towards Williams right there. But Stevens cut him off. Brisbane might be out of this match. They can't, a body just can't take this much abuse, this amount of punishment for the amount of time that Brisbane has. Stevens relentless with those shots into the midsection, softening up that abdominal area. They're exactly right, softening him up. They're picking him apart. Top to bottom, the Natchez are picking him apart. Jason Brisbane. Natchez Stevens stretching out. Andy Douglas going downstairs on Jason Brisbane. That's going to just dish up more pain. Corey Williams trying to come to the assistance of his tag team partner, but that's leaving him open. It's a blatant double team action from the Naturals. Referee didn't see any of it. Ricky Bell going for the three count, only a two. Brisbane able to kick out. Manny Douglas is not to press. Right back to work on Brisbane is Andy Douglas. Not giving him half a second to rest here. Naturals have been relentless on their attack on Jason Brisbane, completely cutting him off from his partner. Very smart strategy here. With the pack of wild dogs, you know, the hot boys started out doing the same thing, isolating Douglas, but I'll tell you what, the Nats will come back and do the exact same thing in a more effective manner to their opponent, Jason Brisbane. Both these teams, veteran tag team wrestlers. Speaking of pack of wild dogs, I got a feeling we're going to see some action right here on the outside. Seems to be 
Hayes. Chase Stevens dropping very quickly off the apron. Going right to work on Jason Brisbane. This is going to spell nothing but a devastating maneuver. Snap suplex delivered to Jason Brisbane. That's a lot of pain being dished out. And you heard it. You heard it. And it's all popping out there. That's one of the hardest fours I've ever seen in any building in my life. I've been doing professional wrestling. That is a concrete floor. That's and he just got suplexed out. Folks, there is no padding down there. What you see is what you get when it comes to that relentless concrete floor. And Brisbane got the brunt of it. He even slid a couple of feet from the devastation of that snap suplex. And he may be lucky he did the sweat in his shade in there because he, if he just landed, it might have given him a little bit of give to the fact that he did slide. Now you see Chase Stevens back over. Right hand right to the forehead of Jason Brisbane. You see these old sea hags right down there in the front row getting all over Chase's case. That was your layoff of things. These folks have paid their good, harder and harder to come to good professional wrestling. And they're getting it tonight right here at the Mecca. And you know this going for a cocky pinfall there, but only a two count. That woman in there has, I'll tell you what, she's got a filthy mouth. I can't believe she puts her teeth in that mouth. Chase may just knock him right down her throat. Or he may just, you know what, he may just take him out, turn him around, and force him to fight himself. And right now, Andy Douglas taking a high risk maneuver here, going topside, coming up and off, misses with a high elbow drop. Brisbane had the instinct to roll out of the way there. Big air ball there by Andy Douglas. A mistake Jason Brisbane definitely needs to capitalize on here. Douglas now trying to go out the hot, hot chocolate in now. Tag made in the Corey Williams. Fired up on both of their actions. Absolutely. Corey Williams, this is the opportunity that Williams has been waiting for. Taking it to both of the naturals. Taking them to the woodshed here. Back body drop from Corey Williams. Andy Douglas springing off the ropes. Back body drop to Andy Douglas from Corey Williams. And Williams not through dishing up the punishment yet. Back elbow to Chase Stevens. Andy Douglas coming off the ropes. Big boot to the face of Andy Douglas. This could spell the end of a Naturals title reign. Going for the pitfall. One, two. Andy Douglas able to kick out at two. Corey Williams wondering what's going on here. He was a house of fire just a second ago. Gave the Naturals all that he could. Coming off double team maneuver as Douglas was able to reverse it. And Corey Williams met with a huge back elbow from Chase Stevens. Now Brisbane trying to take advantage of the situation. Black Jack Stevens down to the mat. Brisbane finally back into it. Douglas, Phil Nelson dropped there. Sending Brisbane hard to the mat. Corey Williams having none of it though. Williams still technically the legal man. Huge side suplex style maneuver there from Corey Williams. Stevens able to make the save on his tag team partner Andy Douglas. Fast paced action in the match right now. Absolute chaos and mayhem in the ring. I'm not sure if the referee can even tell who the real man is. It may just take one big maneuver at this point to finish one of these guys off. Let's see. The hot boys are going to go for one of their textbook moves there, but no. Chase came out with a boot to the head and then dumped hot chocolate out. Now it's Chase getting the boots on the little top right this back. And you can see it right here. Douglas has the championship belt. Douglas tried for that championship belt shot. Didn't work. Spine buster there from. Jason Brisbane going for the three count. One, two. Stevens pulling the referee out at two. That probably was all she wrote right there. Stevens was able to come to the defense of his tag team partner. Slams that title belt right across the chest. Right in the face of Corey Williams. Naturals are going to retain by disqualification here. And a pathetic display of non-athleticism. Taking the chicken's way out. The Naturals retain the tag team. right onto that championship belt. Brisbane feeling the effects. Here come the new hot shots. It's like Cassidy Riley came a little unprepared. Well, right? There it just goes to show you right there the hatred between Cassidy O'Reilly, Johnny Devine, and Chase Stevens and Andy Douglas. Cassidy not even with his trunks on coming out to get his revenge on the Naturals. I hope that ain't my talent. Oh, 